tutorial you're going to learn how to create this color halftone effect digitally. Now Joseph Muller Brockman didn't do this digitally in 1959, however you can create a similar effect using Adobe Photoshop. And if you notice, the image is made out of lots of small circles. So what we're going to do is you would want to include your own photographs really, but to learn the skill to start with you can have a found image. So I'm going to use this camera, which I've imported into a new board in Photoshop. If it's in its own one and you go to File New and you create a new document, I'm just going to quickly show you how to drag an image over. So say I set up another A3 document, A3, 300 pixels per inch resolution, you can create any size you want, but I'm just going to use this, but it must be at 300 ppi for the best print quality possible. So currently I've got two tabs open, my new document and the image that I opened. To move this, click on the Move Tool V shortcut, left click and drag, holding on to left click, till you get into this tab, keep hold until you get to the white space and let go. The image will then drop into this space. You can then use the Transform tool, to transform it, edit free transform, command or control T, and then press enter when you're happy with it. So say I just make it this size, have it coming off of the design, I'm going to change it to black and white. So in the adjustments panel, which is either over here, it can be window adjustments, so bring it up on the windows section here, or image adjustments, and then you've got all your different adjustments here. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn it to black and white. Click OK. If I wanted to increase the contrast, you've got a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Levels, if you click on levels, it brings up the histogram, which is the visual information in the photograph. You can drag the shadows to the right to make them darker. Bring the midtones this way to wash out the image. Or bring the highlights up to make the image even brighter. So I might just bring the image a bit more contrast by dragging that bar. You can merge those together, shift click, right click, and then merge. So now that levels adjustment will only affect that camera. If I had something underneath, it won't affect it as well. It won't turn something in color underneath to black and white. Now I'm gonna change it to the color halftone. With the layer selected, Filter, Pixelate, Color Halftone. You can choose the size, the radius of the pixels between, I believe, 4 to 20, 127. And then you can choose the sort of angles of those pixels. The larger the number, the larger the radius. So I'm going to choose 10 and keep the channels at 45. And you'll see what happens. So if I zoom in a bit, you notice that the image is now turned to Halftone dots. If I wanted it to be a bit more distorted, I can go to Filter, Pixelate, Color Halftone, and let's say we're going to make that larger to 15 or 20. Let's let's say 20. The dots have become larger. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to use that in my design, but I don't want to have a ba uh, white black or white or black background. So I'm going to change that. Go onto my gradient or paint bucket tool. Command G shortcut G, and choose a colour, and on a new layer, I'm going to fill. So currently this layer, which I can double click on the name and change it, this is useful when you have lots of layers to work out what something is, it's currently blocking the other layer. On your layers panel, you also have these blend modes on this drop down. If you click through them on the up to date CC, it does a preview for you. It will change that image and blend the yellow onto the image below it. So, this is quite useful. Say, I want that one, multiply, and then on a new layer with the type tool, I switch back to white type. I've chosen Helvetica bold. I 
I can now start to incorporate other visual elements within the design. So that's how to quickly create a color halftone and visually understand some of the Swiss style use of photography in their designs.